I guess the obvious one is to be a teacher. No, the obvious. <laughs> yeah, the obvious is to actually be, you know, in the classrooms teaching. Uh, that is the first one because we have, that's the, you know, they do teaching practice practicals yeah. to become a teacher. So it's going to be at the student center yeah. at this campus, Sosh and South Campus. And we will begin, commence at 9 a.m. So please they be there before. There will be a photo booth that uh, first come, first serve to take a photo and you get a copy of a memory of your first day as a TUT student. So please come and try and come early so you can get your... The Mid-Morning Connection. Connection. Mondays to Fridays. Mondays to Fridays. 9 a.m. to midday on TUT FM. TUT FM. TUT FM 96.2, we are still together on Mid-Morning Connection. Earlier on, I mentioned that we're still continuing with the orientation uh, building up to next week because the orientation will begin uh, on the 5th of February 2024. It will be on Monday. We used to have colleges specifically offering skills and expertise in diverse courses in education. Uh, so, I'm aware Swan University of Technology's North Campus used to be called Transvaal College of Education um, as an example to this phenomenon. Education has different categories and to understand the subject much better as we are getting up to the orientation week. Um, in studio, we have Bianca O'Neill from the Department of Primary Education. Bianca, good morning and welcome to Mid-Morning Connection. Good morning. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me again. I always welcome to my every year to come here and do my interview. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, every, every, every year we consistently have been you as our guest, especially from your department. Yes, yes, I enjoy the interviews. Yeah. When, when are you going to join us as maybe one of the presenters? Because your voice does the, 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 the justice. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll have to make a plan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, love, we will love that. Uh, Bianca, ju just take us through a brief background as to what does primary education entail? All right. Well, the Department of Primary Education is a play. The venue is at the department is at the North Campus, mm. Sosh and North Campus, uh, building 24. It's actually considered the new building. It's a very nice new building that we've been there for about a year and a half. Mm. Uh, the Department of Primary Education consists of two phases. We have the foundation phase, mm. which is uh, student teachers aiming to do f grade R to grade three, an intermediate senior phase, which is grade four until grade seven. So that is um, the, the, the two primary department educations. And we offer those courses from first year, uh, undergraduate first year to fourth year. And then we have postgraduates in terms of honors, and masters and phd mm. oh the, and uh, we, with this one foundation phase uh, yes. just just take us through how we, how it's done foundation phase the foundation phase yeah meaning who who, who qualifies for to enroll for that well foundation phase is uh, that well firstly they must have a passion oh for, okay yes yeah, yeah, it's, it's teaching little it's the teaching the little ones so you must have a passion for it yeah that, that, that's, that's why sorry to interject that's why i've underlined this one both yes. this all because you are here you are dealing with with kids Yes, so mm. you must have a passion to work with children, and it's and it's also about managing a, a large classroom of children. Mm. It's not just about one or two. It's not babysitting. It's it's and also about teaching. You have to have patience. You have to be very um, enjoy working with children because uh, and also you must have a lot of energy. <laughs> oh yeah, children are still small, mm. and their concentration. You know, they have to really learn to teach them about you know being able to concentrate, but they. I mean, they're little, so you have to, you know, have breathing space as well for that. So, in order to qualify for, firstly, that, the passion and mm. the eagerness and the energy. And then moving on for in terms of your subjects, um, at present time, if you have applied and you're registered, your APM score is 25 and above. Mm. It is quite competitive. Uh, so, the, obviously, when you do your matric results, those who might be doing matric now or those who plan to or are in high school now and would like to do foundation phase teaching, it's very important to get your marks as high as possible mm. um, because we do want it's, it's, it's very competitive. And then also your, um, it presently home language 
there's um, uh, Isuzulu, yeah. Itonga, uh, Sepedi, and um, Tswana. So, unfortunately, we don't cater just yet for the other languages. Mm. Maybe in future, um, well, we will hopefully do. Uh, it's about availability of lecturers, availability in terms of the courses. But the home languages for, for, for that, because mm. um, in foundation phase, majority will be teaching in their mother tongue mm. in, from grade R to um, at least to grade two or three until they move into intermediate phase. And yeah, so the subject combinations, um, obviously maths, literacy, maths, mathematics pure should be about a five, four, and then maths, um, literacy, a five, mm. so, or six. So depending on that, but we've had a lot of registrations already. Um, we are basically, we, we, the registrations have been going very well. Mm. And, and, and as you, 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 you have mentioned uh, home languages, that yes. uh, those that will be teaching uh, these kids with their mother tongue. Yes. Uh, do you, as the department, work uh, in collaboration with the applied languages from Town University of Technology? Well, from my understanding, we do um, have lecturers there that do, but we have lecturers that come in that specify in the subject. Okay. That come in and they... From the other department? Yes, or, or, or independently, but uh, as, as uh, for us. So it, it depends on the where this where the supply can be from. So that's um, we get lecturers that are sp specialized in the languages to lecture. And it's also specialized in teaching young children yeah. in the languages. It's not just about... The language is also about teaching the languages and how you go about teaching the languages. Yeah. And, and earlier on, as you mentioned, uh, that uh, I think education is one of the most loved and applied uh, academic disciplines at Swan University of Technology. Uh, do you still have a space for those that maybe uh, are looking for the space? Well, I can only speak for my department, yeah, rather yes, than primary yeah, education. Primary, I cannot yes. speak for the other, the, other. the other three departments that are in um, for the school. Mm. As you know, the school is broken down into four departments, exactly, um, which is educational foundation, which is the general subjects, mm. and the other three departments that uh, are taking in students is TVE, which is technical and vocational education, and MSBE, math, science, business. Uh, economics um, education and then my department which is the department of primary education which is foundation phase and intermediate phase at the stage we are the register like i said the registrations have been going very well many have applied mm. i don't know what the numbers stand it changes uh day by day mm. um this week the, the, the registrations have been going have been increasing significantly so we, we can't i can't really say if there are still spaces we are still calling those who have not registered and to do so to do so. So yeah. hopefully that they will register within this week. Obviously, um, students, they apply for di different institutions mm. and some, they, they decide not to come to TUT for whatever reason. Maybe they go to a university that's closer to where they live. Mm. And so they don't um, come in. So then that space does go to some to someone on the waiting list. So we do call the waiting list once we know um, those that are not going to be registering with us. Oh, okay. There's still some that have said they're going to register today and tomorrow. So we please advise to do it as soon as possible if they have not registered because um, we're keeping space, but we can only keep it for so long because we need to get onto the waiting list. Okay. We'll go to the new satellites and then when we come back, we will continue with our conversation. Thank you. Okay. TUTFM 96.2, in case you have just joined us, uh, I have a guest, uh, Bianca O'Neill from Department of Primary Education. Uh, Bianca, as you were still alluding to the fact that the admission is still going uh, very well, uh, I, I would like to ask this question. In fact, you have answered the recruitment processes uh, as well as other uh, questions that I had here. But I just wanted to check with you, uh, actually, what, what what is the number of the students that you normally, you as your department, in, not other three categories, but your department will take? Sorry? The number of students. How many yeah. students that oh, we yeah. can take? Yeah. Um, it really depends. Um, in foundation phase, it's usually 150. And for uh, intermediate phase, it's around 200. But those numbers can vary depending on how many register or how many qualify. Mm. But that's around about the score, yes. Okay. For, for students who will be enrolling for your all the, the categories, for your four categories, yes. maybe just to check with you, what, what are the career opportunities in in education 
Well, in uh, I guess the obvious one is to be a teacher. No, the obvious. <laughs> yeah, the obvious is to actually be, you know, in the classrooms teaching. Uh, that is the first one because we have that's the, the you know they do teaching practice practicals yeah. to become a teacher. Mm. But there are many other avenues as well. Mm. Um, they can go into administrative um, prospects, like in the districts or the uh, departments of education, if they feel that maybe teaching is not quite. Um, they're, they're more they like the aspects of the administrative mm. or they can go into more research roles they can move on to honors and masters and do more research in education and um, they can uh, go into more creative aspects um teaching they can create you know you can even be creative you can create uh, educational toys mm. and so the avenue it's, it's it's actually it's up to your uh, imagination and your creativity creativity and your initiative there's a, a wide variety and you know uh, parents are always looking for the latest uh, educational toy or charts that they want to you know for their children so it's really a matter of, and then in our, in our primary education, we focus on the primary school teachers mm. and the FETs, which is the um, MSB in, and TVE, they're more the high school. They go towards the high school. They're more, and the math, science and business and education is more your math, science and business subjects. Mm. And technical and vocational is more your technical subjects. Mm. So it depends. They're more specialized, whereas us in foundation phase, and in foundation phase, it's a lot of subjects. Mm. It's uh, first year is 13 subjects. <laughs> oh, okay. So uh, sometimes they, they always ask me sometimes when they see their proof of registration, is this, is this correct? Have I, have I applied to for too many subjects? I think, yeah. no, it is a lot. It's a, it does take a lot of time management to, um, and it really does make sure you, we make sure that you really want to want to be a foundation based teacher because it's not an easy it's not it's like i said we have you have to have passion and you've got to really want to do it mm. the, the reason why i asked the, that question is because i i'm aware uh to an university of technology as uh, i mean uh, if not two or three that i'm quite sure of they they, they are based in china teaching uh english there so i wanted to check if your department is involved in that uh, not that I know presently, but I yeah. know that some of my alumni, some of my uh, our, our students, I actually know a couple that I've actually lectured in the past. Mm. They actually are overseas, um, not just in China, but also in um, Dubai okay. and some of China various um, other countries. So that is what our, our, our like our course it is 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 a university. It is internationally recognised. So that there's always those avenues and options they can look at if they feel that they want to do some travelling afterwards and explore their horizons and um, there are those doing it so there are those actually going overseas so if that is something that they are interested in i say go for it mm. try and apply go through the avenues but also just make sure that it's not um that it's safe um because we must be uh, that also the we know that on the internet there's a lot of scams yeah there must human be, trafficking yeah so it's very stuff, advised yeah. to go through court, through applications that people have gone through before do your homework your research because we know that unfortunately also check with the reference yes yeah. yes very important because um we don't want you to be scammed in any way yes mm. Okay, uh, let's go through to the orientation. How has your department prepared for this? As we know, uh, the ori orientation will uh, will be commencing next week from the 5th of well, February. Well, as I'm the one who <laughs> organizes the for the DPE. It's oh, going, you are? Yes, oh, okay. I'm my department. <laughs> um, it's going really, really well. Um, very busy, very hectic. Mm. Um, but yes, so... The, oh, it's going well. Um, next week, Monday, yeah. the 5th of February, is the Faculty of Humanities. Okay. So all first years in the 10 departments, um, uh, I believe that you've probably noted them, but as I can say, the DPE is part of the 10. It's DPE, MSB, and TVE, and Educational Foundation, but it's also a law, uh, safety and security department, public management, um, applied languages, journalism, and I'm missing some uh, integrated communication. Yeah. Um, you, mentioned, all, you, you mentioned law, right? Yes, yes, yeah, I mentioned yeah. law, yes. Mm. They all, all the first years that are incoming that have now registered and they're of the faculty orientation, it's the big one. 
we call it the big one. We want you, the, the deans will be there to welcome our students, our new first years. Also, you'll be introduced to all the HODs and also different um, aspects. So it's going to be at the student center yeah. at this campus, Soshan Gubes South Campus. And we will begin, commence at 9 a.m. So please they be there before. There will be a photo booth that uh, first come, first serve to take a photo and you get a copy of a memory of your first day as a TUT student. So please come and try and come early so you can get your, your uh, from the photo booth that's been arranged. So yes, please come. There's going to be tables. All the departments are going to be there. They're going to have each their own table. The DPE will also have a table. So any questions, anything you're unsure of, there'll be mentors who are they're assisting us mm. as well. Any questions? And also you'll be receiving programs for the rest of the week from your various departments. So it's very important. If you know anybody who's doing a first year at any of those courses or who's in DPE, please relay this information. It should have been on their acceptance letters. But we know sometimes that they're maybe not read it or you know they're very stressed and very you know sometimes some information gets missed please it's very important on monday nine o'clock at social group south campus the student center please that they attend the orientation so they can get all the information necessary mm, it, it will be mother of all because yes. all the department will be converging at the student center yes and then the mm. dpe the departmental opening will be tuesday the 6th um, that will be at uh, nine o'clock on Tuesday at the mm. Social Giver North Campus Hall. So anybody who is part of the DPE, either you're doing foundation or intermediate phase first year, we will be having our orientation that morning at the Social Giver North Campus Hall, Building Nine. Mm. Um, we'll be having a basically will be focused on our department um, opening, but it's very important that you attend Monday first. Oh, because because yesterday, uh, Bukosi Badoi, a lecturer of radio broadcast from uh, the Department of Journalism, has been uh, actually emphasizing that uh, after the mother of all the uh, orientation programs, you each department will have their own and yes. their diverse. Uh, department. Uh, that, that's what is going to happen yes. also in uh, education, right? And other academic uh, department. 100% uh, that we break it down. I mean, it's a great opportunity to get a feel of what all the departments are. It's very important. I think sometimes the Students, even students that are fourth year, don't realize that we yeah. have, it's a faculty. Mm. How the, the 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 how it's broken down to the faculty and its different departments, and some are in south, some are in north. So it's just the idea to get to see everyone who's part of the faculty, meet everyone. Yeah, it's a nice opportunity to also to meet the deans. Yeah. Um, of the of the faculty, very important to see them in in person. So also, and it's also going to be TUT FM is also joining us yeah. on the day. Yeah. So that and then yes, and then afterwards, you most will be on the Tuesday. Some are departments are being on the Wednesday. It's broken down so you can see see specifically where your department is stationed specifically and where your classes are in particular so you can ask specific questions about your department oh, so any, this, yeah okay thank you so much for the uh, detailed information any last message that you would like to convey to the general uh, population of the new students that will be coming into your or rather absorbed into your department well yes welcome and congratulations um and you know it's not easy to get into courses these days it's very competitive so congratulations for any um, department that you're studying with and um, for the dpe we welcome we are looking forward to seeing you next week we're very happy and all the best with your studies please take note of all the information everyone is here to help you everyone from all the different departments the support departments and everyone that you'll be meeting and please note that next week is very important it's um very important for your the, for you to feel um, that welcomed and also to be to feel at ease mm. to come next week um, to be make sure that you are you know where your classes are you know where SDS is student development support you know and then also the fun sports day that we're having on the 9th of February and mm. um, we're having it um, yet yeah, the social group itself or mm. the for the faculty it's also a great way just because it's very stressful 
as a first year. Uh, all the information, we're very overwhelmed. So we, we want to have as fun as well. We don't just want to overload with information. We also want you to have a good time as well, to mm. enjoy yourself. It's not, you know, your university year should be the best years of your life. Yeah. So that is why we, so welcome and we look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, I, that's the session we have your contact, right? And what about your children in education? Where can they get hold of you? Um, so we are in Soshan Gouvey North Campus. Okay. Um, that we are in Building Twenty Four. The Department of Primary Education is in Building Twenty Four. So, and then uh, specifically, if you go to um, the Building Twenty Four, you will find us there. So that's where I am, and that is where everyone, our, our administrator Pinky is, and also our HOD and all most of our lecturers are stationed, and where most of the classes will take part, take place for the Department of Primary Education. Ah, oh, uh, Bianca O'Neill from the Department of Primary Education at the University of Technologies Faculty of Humanities. Thank you so much for making time and being with us in our program Mid-Morning Connection on TUTFM. Thank you so much. You're welcome.